All right, guys, so I'm out here. I'm going to be using this scraper. I have my uh, inspection stickers on the truck here, which uh, are not only not good. <laughs> last one was in uh, 2016, uh, but they're not necessary. This truck is technically an antique. I pay antique insurance on it. I have an antique plate. I do not need to get it inspected anymore. So I just want to take these stickers off the, uh, the windshield since this one is already peeling anyway. Just looks like trash and I want to get rid of them. So it's a good opportunity to try out this uh, scraper. All right, so let's do that right now. And obviously I'm going to use two hands on this, but I want to get some on, on camera here. It's a little awkward holding the, the camera doing this, but these are the big flat ends. Actually, i switch around and use this small end here as well. So you can get more, more pressure on it. Of course, I'll go back and get the glue as well. But while it's new, and the, the edges are so sharp, it seems to be working fairly well. Let's try the other end again. a quick little uh, test with the camera it is kind of awkward holding the camera because the camera is right in the way of where my arm needs to be to get these but I'm gonna go ahead and finish this job and uh, I'll show you what it looks like when it's all done all right so we're almost done here but just for reference I'm comparing it to this this is a uh, scraper with the um, you know metal blade on there and because of the curvature on the corner here I can't get this to touch any of that stuff because as it curves it lifts it off the the glass all right so although this metal blade did scrape you know the other half of that sticker way better than the plastic one i don't have any part of it that i can use for this except for this one the uh the smaller end on here is able to actually make contact with that it's not as sharp it's not as easy to use but it is allowing me to actually scrape this off which i i couldn't do otherwise with the other one so of course it has its uh its pros and cons but same thing with these you know smaller edges and this curved edge all right, the curved edge is able to get in there and make contact, okay, which the large one can't. So I'll finish this up, show you when it's all done, and then we'll uh, we'll go inside and talk about it a little bit. All right, I don't know how good you guys can see this, but basically I got down to just a little bit of this sticker left, and it just will not scrape off. It's like totally baked on there. So I just have a rag with some uh, goof off that's just uh, it's soaked on the end there, so it's hopefully going to loosen up all that glue and stuff, and I can finish scraping it. But in the meantime, while that's sitting, we'll go inside and talk about the scraper a little bit. So let's take a closer look at these. These are scrape safe, you know, scraping tools, multi-purpose scrapers. It's all plastic, you know, one piece construction. Um, the story behind these is the guy who makes these is a friend of a friend. So my friend asked me if I want to try them out and give some feedback on them. I said, yeah, sure, why not? I got these uh, a long time ago and sat on them because I didn't have a use for them. Uh, the first thing I used it for was scraping ice off the window on my car, which actually excelled at. It worked better than a regular ice scraper. And uh, if we had some snow and ice out there right now, I'd show you that, but I, I didn't film it when I was doing it. I just happened to grab it because I couldn't find my scraper. <laughs> so uh, yeah, it works well for that. In fact, the, uh, the second one here, I'll probably throw in the car for that purpose. But anyway, I just sat on it for a long time and, um, you know, didn't need it for anything. And I was driving the truck the other day and I saw that the, you know, my inspection sticker was kind of peeling off the side and it was annoying. So I said, oh, perfect opportunity. I'll use this to, uh, to scrape it off. So that's what you guys saw in the beginning of the video there is kind of a demo on it. And as you also saw, I'm, I'm soaking the rest of the glue residue that's on there with the, uh, you know, goof off or whatever that was, gooby gone. And, uh, you know, that'll probably just wipe away. But, uh... I want to compare it directly to this scraper, which I've had for many years. This is uh, a metal scraper. It has replaceable blades, so this thing pops open. There's a, a metal razor blade on here. And then, of course, you put it back and store it you know, inside, so you're not poking things with it and cutting stuff. Um, so this is the main scraper that I've used for years. And besides this one, I also have another metal scraper. It's much smaller, and it takes a standard single-edge razor blade. And they've always worked very well, so I wanted to see how this would compare to this. And I can tell you that the razor blade, or the metal uh, ones that use the razors, do scrape better than this on, you know, the flat surfaces on glass anyway. Okay, obviously you could be scraping all kinds of things on all different surfaces, but for my purposes, 
I'm talking about glass because that's the experience I have with this now. So yeah, the metal one excelled on the glass. However, um, as you saw, because those stickers are on an inside curve, uh, and especially because this one's so much longer, I actually couldn't find the smaller metal one. Um, I couldn't get the proper you know, angle to actually have it touch the sticker because it was curved. You know, when I was rubbing, you could see with the curved part, it, it does not make uh, contact. So like I was literally just trying to use the very edge of it. And I just couldn't get it. The fact that this was round actually really helped. I was able to get in there and scrape where it was curved out. So yeah, I mean, it excelled in that respect. Uh, but because the edge here, even though it's fairly, let me see if I can zoom in, it's fairly um, sharp, let's say, you know, or thin on that edge. It makes good contact and everything, but it just can't compare to a sharpened blade. All right, at least on glass. So yeah, the metal scraper that I already had did work better for the most part, but that curvature really came in handy. What's nice about this compared to this is it's just obviously one straight blade or one straight line. This has multiple different surfaces. Um, you have a small flat area on this end, right? They have a, uh, inside curvature right here which you can use for scraping and then of course flipping it around and this is actually very comfortable to use it like this to kind of keep this in the palm use it as a finger rest and then use the smaller portion on this end the downside to all plastic scrapers is they're plastic with this the metal lasts a long time you can actually sharpen it if you wanted to most people won't because it takes replaceable blades you would just throw the blade out and pop a new one in there uh, but over time this plastic will you know deform for example not to purposely damage it, but I just want to show you this. If you happen to push on something, even somewhat lightly, it'll dent. If you could tell that, I'll do it a little bit harder just so you can see it. Whoop, see how it kind of stuck? I mean, you know, it's a soft plastic. So you'll, you'll get this uh, chipping and denting as you hit harder things over time. Okay, so these won't last forever. Uh, whereas, you know, replaceable blades obviously won't last forever either, but it's easy to replace that blade. As far as cost, this thing costs anywhere from like two bucks to $15, but on average, five, six bucks, something like that. You can look them up. This is Allway GTS 07400, all right? And there's tons of different, you know, things in the market like this, different types of metal or scrapers that have replaceable metal blades. These cost five bucks. I think $5 are reasonable. In fact, they do a three pack, which I think is like $12 or something. So you save a couple bucks by getting, you know, a package of them. And as you can see, they have green and orange. I do prefer the orange just because easy visibility, especially if you're going to keep it, you know, in your car trunk or something, or if you're going to keep it in a toolbox, just easy to get to, simple. Um, but yeah, I mean, I like them. They're, it's not, you know, there's other plastic scrapers on the market. What this does that other ones don't is it offers a ton of different shapes for scraping. In my particular case, in this specific scenario, this was more helpful than what I already had because of this curved portion. Okay, a lot of the scrapers in the market don't have, you know, dedicated, you know, curved uh, spot for scraping as well as, like I said, these little, you know, much smaller spots. Gives you a little bit more versatility. That's about it. But uh, yeah, just, you know, worth uh, checking into. Like I said, I, I told my buddy that I would uh, check it out uh, and try it out and see what I thought. And that's exactly what I did. Um, in most scenarios on a flat surface, I do prefer this scraper. But... In those uh, you know, rare instances where you're going to be scraping something in an odd spot or you have a very small area you need to scrape, this would come in handy and, and a lot of scrapers don't offer those smaller spots. And also in the comments section, if you have uh, different ideas or ways you can use this scraper, I'd love to hear about it. Uh, for me, when I use scrapers, it's mostly to get stickers or decals off of stuff, you know, specifically glass. I've gone through on my car a ton of different decals in the past. I don't really put them on as often as I used to. But I used to use uh, this scraper all the time for that purpose. But yeah, I'd love to hear you know different ideas, different things you can use this for, you know, besides that. So thanks for watching. Hope you guys have an awesome day, and I'll see you soon. Take care.